Society today, everyone, both Christians, Muslim, pagan, uh, idol worshippers, everybody are crying, and all are asking God for one specific thing, which is good leader. The moms praying, the monks, Lord, give us a good leader. The Christians are praying in our various denominations and churches world. Lord, give us good leader. No one ever look inward and look at him or herself as a leader that the nation needs. Is the nation building meant for the politician? Is the nation building meant for the entrepreneurs? Is it meant for the professionals? Who actually, where nation building begins from? The pain of every Nigerian that drive or driving every one of us to the place of prayer. Lord, give us good leaders. And we understood that when the good, when the righteous people are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked man rules the city, the people groan. And you and I can bear witness today. We don't need to point fingers on people, but all we need to understand that the scripture cannot be broken. The Lord who has brought us, who we able to sit down, think together, look at the possible way, and help every other person who are watching online and who will watch this meeting in a time to come to realize that nation building is not meant for a particular person, it is meant for every individual, including you and I sitting. If you do your own, in your corner, I am doing my own in my family because when we have individual being transformed, we have a family transformed. When a family is transformed, the society is transformed. When a society is transformed, a nation is built. It's just a simple mathematics. Today, I thank God for bringing us here together. All you also need to remind every one of us here today is Restart Leaders Club is not just a denomination. It is a movement of the body of Christ. I keep telling people it is an answer to the prayer that the people has prayed that Lord, we need a structure that will redeem this nation. Rista is such. That is why we call ourselves an organization of oriented people who are driven with passion to groom the new generation of leaders for governance and leadership. And our goal our first targeted goal is 2035. Looking at Vision 2035, by 2035, we should be able to reach at least the third of Nigerian youth for them to know their responsibility in nation building. Once again, I'd like to appreciate everyone here this afternoon. Thank you and God bless you all.